I was a keen swimmer when I was younger, swam at quite a high level, um, and I really enjoyed pursuing that, pushing myself to uh, to that degree and mixing with athletes. Um, then I went to medical school, and it was always at the back of my mind that I might want to take that forward and pursue that as a career, and I was lucky that the opportunities presented themselves at the right time, and you know, I, I've been able to pursue a career in sports and exercise medicine over the last 15 years. Certainly, I like to listen. You know, I think um, hearing the patient story in some detail gives you a really good indication as to what their diagnosis is. Um, so that is pretty much will give you most of the information you need. And then that will be followed with a, a very thorough and precise clinical examination where we can really sort of hone in on what their issues are. And then at that point, we might talk about some diagnostic investigations uh, that may be required, CT, MRI. Uh, or if, uh, depending on the uh, presenting complaint, we might do an ultrasound um, scan there and then. Patients are often to receive advice just about what they can't do. Um, my philosophy is very different. I like to focus on what I can and get them to do that in a safer and, and, and better, uh, better way. And you know that's very rewarding for me and you know, it's very rewarding for the patient when they have that real change of philosophy. So there's a real uh, myth which we need to dispel, which is, to see a sports exercise medicine doctor, you need to be an athlete. That's not the case. Um, of course, we're very happy to see you if you are an athlete, and there's a lot we, that we can do to support them. Uh, but there's also a lot that we can do for um, patients who, you know, who, who are either are willing to get going or want to keep going. I think you've got to you've got to practice what you preach. So um, keeping fit and being involved in sport is very important to me, and that takes up a lot of my um, a lot of my recreation time.